Hey guys, and welcome back to the FFF HQ where I have a game day treat for you. Now, truth be told, I don't love football. Mr. FFF does though. So I'm only there for the snacks, which I think wives, some of you might be too. But I know among the sea of buffalo chicken, there's sometimes some snacks that are not so diet friendly or allergy friendly or what have you. So today we're gonna make some paleo and whole 30 chicken wings in the slow cooker so that basically does all the work for you and they have a little spicy five spice Asian kick. You guys are gonna love them and no one is gonna know that they are allergy friendly. So let's dive right into this healthy recipe. So by the magic of television, we have our slow cooker right here. I love my seven quart all clad because you can put pretty much anything in it, like these chicken wings. So we're gonna start by making the sauce, which is two cups of pineapple juice right into the slow cooker. Then we're gonna add in some chopped ginger and garlic for lots of flavor some coconut aminos or soy sauce if you're not concerned about paleo or Whole30. As well as a little bit of sesame oil, which gives a really great Asian flavor to these wings. And a nice pinch of salt. So whisk that all together. And then you wanna take a quarter cup more pineapple juice and add it to two tablespoons of tapioca starch, or you can use cornstarch if you're not worried about the paleo whole 30 grain free. Whisk it together until smooth and creamy. Then stir that right into the pot. And whisk till combined. Now it's time to spice up those wings. So step one, is to grab some paper towel and dump your wings out because you want them really, really dry or else it makes it hard to add the spice. Organize them in a single layer and then place another paper towel on top and pat out all the excess moisture. Once they're patted dry, remove the paper towel to reveal nice dry chicken wings. So you got your nice dry chicken wings. It's time to add that five spice. So grab yourself a cutting board and grab some Chinese five spice mixed with red pepper flakes. And put your little chicken wings onto your cutting board. Check that paper towel out of your way. And let's get our spice on. So that five spice blend that we just made Put all over the chicken wings, making sure they're evenly covered, nice and spicy. And then just rub it into all sides of the wings, making sure they're evenly coated. Chicken wings are spiced. Just stick them into that slow cooker, and the rest is up to it. Just stir it together so that sauce coats all the wings. Put them in a nice, even layer, and cook them on high for two to three hours until the meat almost falls off the bone. So by the magic of television, it's been three hours, and our chicken wings are ready to make them nice and crispy in the broiler. So we're gonna transfer them to a parchment paper lined pan. Now we're gonna go put them under the broiler and make them nice and crispy. So I rubbed a little bit of the sauce from the slow cooker on top of the wings, and now we're gonna stick them in a broiler on high until they're nice and crispy. So while your chicken wings are broiling, we are going to thicken up the sauce. Just gonna pour all of the sauce from the slow cooker into a large pot. Be careful not to spill over yourself because it's hot. Now we're gonna take it back to the stove to thicken. So you're gonna bring your sauce to a boil on high heat and then you're gonna boil it for three minutes, stirring constantly. After three minutes has elapsed, you're gonna turn it down to medium low and simmer it for about 15 minutes, stirring occasionally until the sauce is nice and thick and reduced. It's been a couple minutes. You can hear that nice sizzle and things are starting to look a little bit brown. So you wanna put a little bit more sauce on top. Put 
All right, so we are just gonna transfer these to a little plate so we can make them nice and pretty. Now you're probably gonna have a lot of sauce left over, but I think we all prefer a little bit of a saucier chicken wing than a dry chicken wing. So if you want, you can rub a little bit of extra sauce on top. And for a little garnish, we got some cilantro, green onion, and sesame seed. And that's it. Everyone watching football just for the snacks like yours truly has got something to eat that's allergy friendly, gluten free, grain free, dairy free, paleo, and a whole 30, but not taste free. Touchdown! So if you try this recipe, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. The full recipe is also in the video description. I also really appreciate a like and a thumbs up on this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm delivering healthy and delicious gluten-free recipes to you every single Friday. So go enjoy your game day and we will see you next time. Bye for now.